how's it going guys uh, hitting garage sales today and uh, Christy brought me some very good luck today <laughs> uh, the deal was with this one it was a Craigslist ad moving sale there was no address but they posted the the addition what it was in and it's two miles from our house so I decided to take a chance and just drive through the neighborhood and uh, see if we could find the address. You know, see, as you guys can see, it's rainy, and we I think we're probably the first people even to go there. No, we're the second people to go there. Yeah. So, uh, end up picking this up. I have no idea what it's worth. Uh, this was a moving sale, so she was going to move also. So I picked up this Mark's Ten Toy. Again, I have no idea what it's worth. Uh, I asked her and she said $30. So, uh, based on having the box and the train looks in very nice condition, I uh, took a chance on that. But, you guys know I love wristwatches. And I walked through the sale and I didn't see any watches or jewelry, but I actually asked her. I said, uh, do you have any watches? And she uh, looked in her pocket and she said she thought she put them somewhere. And uh, she asked her daughter and she said, oh yeah, I put them on the table. So ended up buying this bag of watches for $2. And for you guys that you know watch my channel for watches, you're not gonna believe what is in here. I saw the one watch and I was like, holy cow. But I have here an Omega Seamaster. I did wind it and it is running. And it's the, uh, the gold filled version. So I collect Omegas and this is probably number six for me. And I do not, I do not have an Omega Seamaster of this era. I think this is not to date it. I'm not sure what the date. I'm guessing 60s, maybe late 50s. Uh, my other Seamaster is from the 70s. So great score for my personal collection. And then another. This was also in there. I think this is just a Timex. Yeah, just a Timex. That's a special one. I'll save that here. And a, another Timex automatic. That's a decent watch. But another score in that was a uh, Universal Genève military watch. Uh, it is not running, but still a uh, outstanding pickup. So garage sale number one, great success. If we don't find anything else today, I don't really care. <laughs> Have a good one. How's it going guys? This is a uh, part two of the, uh, the vintage watch finds for today. Uh, Kristen and I did go to probably 20 or so garage sales. I did come across one sale that had some uh, vintage uh, Transformers. There's, they were not complete uh, parts, pieces. And there's also a, uh, a Stomper King Size. Um, sorry, Road, uh, Road Kings Stomper. It did not work. Uh, but still those uh, are worth around $50 a piece or so. Uh, but this video is going to focus on the watches I picked up. Again, uh, I think these probably belong to the lady's uh, father. You can kind of see the progression here. Uh, you know, you probably got this World War II era. And then uh, the Seamaster, you know, late 50s, early 60s. And then he probably went to the Timex. And then this is probably his one of his last watches, this Timex here. But I did uh, clean a couple of these up. Uh, this was the strap that was on the Seamaster. And just so happens uh, there was another strap in here 
uh, leather. And, you know, I did some work uh, cleaning these watches up. But here is the, uh, the Omega. Again, we'll go in my personal collection. We'll crud there. But I think this is a uh, 1958. I didn't take the back off to confirm that, but from photos of other Omega Seamasters, it looks like to be a 58. And it's uh, the gold filled version. But again, this will uh, go in my personal collection. I love Omegas and I don't sell them when I find them. This one was really dirty. I cleaned this up a bit. I think it's a 79 Timex automatic. Pretty nice watch. It's uh, a bit oversized. So those tend to be a little more collectible. And then those three work and unfortunately this one is not running. It's a uh, Universal Genève military watch I'm guessing from the 40s, late 40s. So again, yeah, uh, the, the story was again, uh, I looked around looking for jewelry, uh, did not find any, and I asked the lady if she had any uh, jewelry or, or watches, and she said she did. She looked in her pocket, and she said, uh, I put them somewhere. She asked her daughter, and she put them on the table. I walked around the garage sale, didn't see, didn't notice them, but they were in that plastic bag there. And I looked in the bag, I saw this right away, and it was, I didn't care if it worked or not for two dollars. I mean, you just can't believe something like that. Um, but this is a prime example of people like even Christy. I asked Christy, I said, What's the difference between these watches? You know, one's a $300 watch, and one's a Ten dollar watch. Could you tell the difference, or know or care? And you know, to the layperson, they don't know the difference. You know, they really could care less. They just think it's a watch. So, being a, a collector and knowing something about about watches, you definitely know about brands and quality. And this is about as good as you can get. So, hope you guys like my videos. Uh, video. Uh, See you next time. How's it going guys? Uh, this is uh, part three of pretty much my watch find day. Uh, went to my friend's uh, sale like I did last year. He has a sale once or twice a year and uh, ended up picking up these watches. Uh, Christy and I did help him today so he gave me a discount. And he's probably going to give me these watches for free but I, I did give him $20. Uh, Christy and I did help him for about an hour. So uh, I'm going to do a wristwatch check and I am wearing that Omega Seamaster I picked up today. So it is running and keeping great time. So these are the watches I picked up from uh, him, paid $20 for. Never heard of this brand, it's a Navoris. Looks to be from probably the 40s and it's uh, not running like to pick these up um, mid 60s Timex those uh, sell pretty well and another parts piece a uh, Hamilton gold filled not running just uh, a parts piece and a uh, Gear Jammer Anderson. It's like an advertising watch, I think. As you can see, it is running. It's uh, 17 jewels, Swiss made. Interesting piece. 
And this is the uh, second one I have of these. That's a Bulova Accutron. I think it's a 10 karat gold filled. Yeah. Uh, this is, like I said, the second one of these I have. And I've yet to buy a battery. So this gives me a reason to uh, buy some batteries to see if these actually work. So that's my uh, watch finds for today. Again, I uh, love that Omega. See you next time.